Live from San Francisco, California, it's The Cube at VMworld 2014. Brought to you by VMware, Cisco, EMC, HP, and Nutanix. Welcome back to San Francisco, everybody. This is Dave Vellante with Wikibon.org. And this is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage of VMworld 2014. This is our fifth year covering VMworld. We got it all started uh, in 2010 at Moscone in this actual very location. And um, so we have always covered sort of the disruptions in the market and have focused a lot lately on, on storage and what's happening with Flash. In fact, in, 2010 we were talking about it, it's not nearly, uh, had, had not nearly taken hold as much a, as it has today. Ehud Roca is here, he's the, uh, one of the founders of Extreme IO, a CUBE alum. Ehud, welcome back to the CUBE, it's good to see you Thanks again. Thanks very much, uh, great to be here. So this is quite an event here. Uh, we last saw each other, I think, at uh, EMC World. Right. A um, little different vibe here, right? A lot more of your competitors, cooperators, and, yep. and so forth. So you get a wider industry perspective. Sure. Um, you guys, we were talking off camera, let's, what, you know, let's talk about how you guys are making an impact in the marketplace. Yes. Um, we talked at EMC World uh, about, uh, a lot about the journey that you guys were on, how mm -hmm. you got started, and then you come into EMC and you get EMC eyes, right. you know, and you get this huge channel to take advantage of. So, sure. it's starting to work. Uh, David Goulden has shared some numbers. Yep. It looks impressive. I've, I've said publicly, you know, no matter what, because everybody's claiming number one, so no matter what, e EMC in my prediction is going to be number one in this marketplace because you have the channel and you've got the relationships. So, how is it that you're taking the market? What kind of progress are you guys making? Give us the update. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we talked just a few months ago uh, and uh, we were talking about integration within EMC and uh, right. kind of an early uh, business uh, creation. And just a year ago, VMware of last year, we were uh, during our directed availability phase before general availability. So within this you know, months of less, less than a year perspective, I think we went from market penetration, very uh, uh, fast growth into what's becoming a mainstream business uh, that uh, demonstrates unprecedented growth. I believe we are showing uh, growth rates that are unheard of in, in this infrastructure market. Okay, so uh, I got to ask, I have to follow up with that. Now, sure. obviously you can't share the details of the right. numbers, but that's an interesting statement that you just made. So w w are you comparing it to spinning disk, other storage products, other infrastructure products, I think history of IT? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm not a historian myself, but uh, comparing it to uh, other storage product, other IT infrastructure products, um, different waves of new technologies being introduced. I think the old flash uh, uh, introduction that's happening uh, last year, this year, in a very big way, uh, is 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 bigger, and uh, it quickly transitioned or proved itself to be much more than a small niche segment at the tip of this uh, performance uh, 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 triangle. Uh, it's much more of a mainstream, general purpose, all flash storage, uh, that with the uh, advancements in data reduction, economics, efficiencies, proves itself to be delivering the right economics to become mainstream. Well, at EMC you've got a couple of reference points for successful products, I would say two notable ones would be the original Symmetrics, which I, I have a long story that I won't tell you about here, but I saw the ascendancy of that product, which was right. unprecedented, because yep. at the time IBM had a monopoly, and then of course, the, the, the DG Clarion at the time, which, which EMC bought, and then really sure. started to take hold in the mainstream. Sure. Uh, others would be NetApp, I mean, you could track that, that growth, and so, right. so right. you've looked right. at those, and you're saying that the extreme IO adoption is higher than anything that in modern history. I, right? I, I, I believe that yeah. to be the case. Uh, uh, I think it exceeds expectations. We won't hold you to it, but it's big. Uh, don't hold me to it, <laughs> it's big uh, fast. and fast. And uh, we had very high expectations for ourselves, and we are exceeding our own. 
really? expectations, yes. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think that is uh, because uh, there, are, there is a real need that we are addressing uh, on agility, on performance, on simplicity, on economics, uh, on scale, and the product works extremely well. Um, and uh, the combination of a product that uh, was introduced only recently, uh, but is proving to be extremely mature, uh, and uh, with the demand we are seeing in the field, these two create uh, the, uh, the success. So, I have to ask you about, uh, when, I, when I go back to EMC world, um, I, I like the conversation we had. Obviously, sure. the folks that I talked to with, from Extreme IO are you know, extremely focused on, yeah. on that all flash product. But the high level messaging was, I thought, a little bit of a hybrid, you know, to steal a theme from this show. Kind of, well, you know, there's going to be still a lot of spinning disk around, and IDC numbers show by 2017, a small portion. <coughs> uh, I talked to a lot of customers said, hmm, seems like you know, EMC kind of trying to hold on to the past, and then very quickly, I've seen a change in the marketplace. You guys have become much more aggressive. You guys, not Extreme IO side of the house, but EMC as a company, right. much more aggressive about leading with Flash, is that, a, sure. uh, is that an accurate perception and why the change? Uh, I think it is, and it's not to say that uh, disk hybrid solutions have their place uh, maybe forever, maybe for many years to come, mm -hmm. but I think EMC has proved uh, that it can be uh, 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 disruptive, it can lead in a disruptive market, it can disrupt itself in places where it makes sense. So EMC is absolutely leading with Extreme I.O. Uh, uh, wherever it makes sense, and it is making sense in a, a growing number of use cases, workloads, and uh, across all verticals. So how should we think about Extreme I.O.'s entrance into the marketplace um, relative to both existing platforms, um, in particular VMAX, uh, but also uh, VNX, uh, and um, early competitors? Um, talk about that a little bit. Um, when I say early competitors, I mean all flash competitors. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, again, I think we find ourselves competing in the marketplace much more with other all flash array players than with other EMC products. Not to say there is no overlap, but overlap is good, I think, as the you know, EMC strategies is, is proving. Like Joe Tucci uh, says, overlap is better than gaps. Better than <laughs> gaps, and, and, and it's real. And uh, I think, from my perspective, fighting for extreme I.O. attention uh, in the market, I think the, uh, the, uh, the approach where let the customers decide what's good for them uh, makes a lot of sense. And we are uh, fighting much more with other all flash arrays. I can say we are winning at the vast majority of, uh, of time, so our win rate statistics are amazing. And uh, we see some overlap with other products, but it's, it's a small portion of our Why, why do you win? If I have the win pie, is it uh, if, you know, product, existing relationships, trust right. in EMC, you know, other factors? Let so obviously it's, it's a combination, mm -hmm. and you will find examples from all of these. Uh, but I think what makes it, and, and tying this back to your earlier question of why is it being so successful and growing so fast? It's because we have all of this together. We have a superior product, superior architecture, and we have the EMC, uh, not only brand and relationship, but real infrastructure. So the EMC services organization, the EMC quality that we are leveraging to deliver quality with a newly introduced, introduced product, Extreme IO, and combining this with superior offering gives us this, uh, this uh, huge success. So, okay, so you say it's a superior uh, product, a superior offering. Uh, some would say, okay, well, it's late to the market, um, uh, maybe it doesn't have this, maybe not, not as much data reduction. How do you respond to that? Sure, so late to the market, uh, it's an absolute fact that we were not the first to introduce an all flash array. Uh, not late to the market, though. I think we came right in time uh, when the market is starting to grow in a significant way, and we are absolutely riding and leading the growth curve in the market. So in no way late to the market, even though not first. Broadly speaking, right. And mm -hmm. in terms of features, we were not first with all features. Uh, absolutely uh, uh, breached any 
uh, major uh, missing features that we thought we had. Uh, we had a major launch uh, uh, in uh, July as part of EMC's mega launch, announced uh, snapshots, announced uh, compression uh, arriving very soon. Uh, and uh, I think with that we complete the data reduction story. Uh, we complete the set of capabilities in a basic architecture that delivers uh, uh, advantages relative to alternatives. So I wonder if we could talk, so once you have the data compression piece there, now it becomes much more cost, cost effective. Is that right for custom, from a customer that standpoint? That is true, in a wide range of workloads it does, yes. So, uh, you know, early days of, and I, by the way, I agree with you, I just finished in the first half of this year, thank God it's over, but a, a many, many city tour, talking to customers, and it's great. It was yep. a great off, opportunity to talk to customers, a lot of time on the road. Probably talked to five or 600 customers, and when I ask them who's really adopting Flash, and I dig into it, it's very early days. Most people are just putting Flash into existing arrays. Very few were you know, absorbing all Flash arrays at a very high rate, so I think, I think you're, you're right on. In the early days of Flash, very early, you would hear things like, well, you shouldn't focus on cost per bit, you should focus on cost per I.O. Obviously, that's where the advantage is, and I almost feel like that was one of those, if you can't fix it, feature it type of things. Right. Are we, with these new data reduction technologies and lower cost uh, EMS, MLC, getting to the point where it's really, Flash is becoming competitive on a cost per bit basis, and are we going to start talking about more along those lines? Yeah, absolutely, and I agree with that. I, I didn't really like the cost per IOP thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, it's, um, you know, it's relevant in, in, in a very small subset of the use cases. Uh, the real thing is how, does it, how much will it cost me to support an application, to support an environment. Um, and in this regard, it's a combination of your performance needs and capacity needs. And with the, uh, advanced data reduction, deduplication, compression that are always in line, always active, uh, always available with consistent performance, you are able to leverage data reduction uh, in a way that delivers uh, value. And I think uh, the maturity of Extreme IO today allows it to prove itself economical at a price or cost per solution, per application level, and not limiting it to the uh, uh, very high IOPS uh, use cases that allow for very uh, low attractive dollar per IOP number. It's both of these. What if we could talk about the, the importance of stack for a minute? I mean, storage has always you know, been a challenge. Uh, companies spend the better part of a decade building out and hardening a stack. And um, data services and quality of service and all those things right. that customers you know, have come to expect, and especially at a company like EMC where you're selling into the most mission critical mm -hmm. you know, workloads and applications. Most people would say, well, the emerging flash array, all flash array companies, Extreme IO included, division of a company, right. don't have that robust stack. Is that a fair criticism? Um, how long will it take to build out? And, and where, what limits does that place on that product or that class of product? Right, uh, I think I would, I would separate robust and um, you know, complete set of every feature, every bit that uh, exists Robust there. versus comprehensive. Ver versus okay. comprehensive. So, okay. uh, is it robust? I can uh, say with uh, uh, the highest confidence, Extreme IO is robust, and you don't need to believe me or believe some architectural talk, the results in the field prove that Extreme IO is robust and delivering levels of availability and reliability that uh, put it uh, alongside the most reliable platforms in, in, in EMC's portfolio. Um, is it comprehensive? It is comprehensive uh, in everything that's uh, highly important. There is room to grow. Uh, there is no way we, and I, I, I would say the same on, on alternative platforms that are only being introduced to the market, we cannot deliver day one or year one the full set of capabilities that have been developed for symmetrics, for example, for more than a decade. Right. Um, uh, but can we deliver uh, year one uh, a complete set that delivers new types of value 
uh, that are uh, unavailable with traditional platforms? Absolutely, yes. So we talked earlier about um, the, the time to market. Uh, is first mover advantage in the technology business less important perhaps than maybe many people thought it would be? I mean, in social media, I think about MySpace and Facebook, who ended up dominating that, Friendster, people remember that. But, but apply that to enterprise tech. Yeah. Uh, good question. I don't, I don't know that there is a rule here. Uh, but uh, I think um, we have seen more examples of the uh, f very, very first mover, not necessarily being the uh, number one or the dominant player than the, altern than the other side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, not being first, but being earlier rather than later in the market, with a better thought out architecture, with a better solution, and being part of the EMC organization, the, the, uh, the uh, relationship, the services, the infrastructure that supports us, this combination is proving better. All right, Ahud, we have to leave it there. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on theCUBE again, and uh, congratulations thank you. Pleasure on the success to be here. that you've had. Best of luck, we'll be watching. Thanks very much. Take care. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this. This is theCUBE, we're live from Moscone in San Francisco.